How are we doing there, boys and girls? Matthews here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk about something that I'm seeing a lot more frequently, uh, and it's that people are simply looking at doing one of two things. They're either looking at dropping their profession uh, or they're looking at just giving up with their profession full stop. This is for a couple of reasons, right? They look at the auction house, they look at their... Simcraft, they look at their trade school master add on, and everything's red, right? Absolutely everything is red, nothing seems to be making any gold, and it's quite logical to put two and two together and say, right, well, what's the point? Uh, why am I spending all of this time farming knowledge points? Why am I spending all of this time spending gold leveling up? Why am I spending all of this time in trade chat trying to sell things for 500 gold tips? It's understandable that most people don't want to do it and most people are not seeing the benefit in doing it. But what I want to do today is try and hopefully explain to you guys why it is really, really quite important to at least keep the basics up and running. Um, I'm going to use an example from the past. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a look back into Shadowlands for a few minutes at what the what the sort of the path was in Shadowlands and what some of the stepping stones that people had to take and what were the hurdles that were put in front of those people to making gold through Shadowlands and how people who just stuck with it were the ones that made just disgusting amounts in gold through the entire expansion. Um, dare I say it, we are going to talk about legendaries a little bit here because it's going to really help showcase uh, why you really need to keep going with your professions. Now, <clears throat> if you've been playing since the beginning of the expansion, there's a really good chance by now that you've got like the base level done. You've probably got your tools in place and you're probably now just in that weekly rotation of just running about picking up knowledge points, trying to fill out this tree. Um, there's about somewhere in the region of 13 to 15 knowledge points that most professions can get quite quickly and easily each week. Um, but it seems very, very, you know, like, what's the point? And I, and I get that. This is, though, one of the biggest time-gating features that we've probably ever seen in crafting. Crafting is usually one of those entities in the game that is far less subject to any form of time-gating. Sure, there might be some time-gating in terms of things like a rep grind to get a pattern. We've seen that quite frequently in the past. But never really have the professions themselves had a solid, strict time-gating to them. And that's realistically what you can look at when, or what you can consider the spec trees to be. There will come a point in the future, uh, some people, believe it or not, are already getting there, but there will be some point in the future where people start completing this, right? Um, I'm already with my main profession. Jewel crafting is a big profession for me. Uh, I've already got a couple of the nodes completely filled out and I'm working on filling out the others and I'm getting quite far through already. Um, I'm by no means anywhere near complete, but there will come a time that even at 14, 15 knowledge points a week, I'll get there. Um, and once you have it maxed, it's good, right? It's full. And with it, with a full spec tree, you don't need to worry about it anymore. Once you get it done, most uh, most professions take somewhere in the region of sort of six to eight months to fully fill out a spec tree without doing any extra grinding. This is on the assumption that you are getting your weekly quests done. You're doing a little bit of dirt farming to get the one time a week uh, knowledge points from those. You're killing some specific mobs. You're doing the basics, that 14, 15 points that most of us are aware of. Uh, if you're doing that and you just chip away at it, some simple maths will tell you that about six to eight months for most of the professions, and then they're done. Now, it's a two-year expansion, or at least we assume it's going to be a two-year expansion. Uh, six months out of 24 months means that the sooner you get it done, it's done, right? But once you do have it all completed, it's cash in the bank. It really is. It's going to be cash in the bank because anybody that turns up in six months' time who hasn't started or has been slow or hasn't been consistent with it is going to have a arguably six-month catch-up to get to the same point that you are at. Uh, now, I can only talk about how things look right now. There is nothing to say that in the future Blizzard won't add some sort of catch-up to this. But the point still stands is that if you get it done and you get it done early, you'll be able to reap the rewards of that for as long as it takes for Blizzard to implement some catch-up system or for other players to naturally catch up to you. 
Um, why would do, why did I want to talk about Shadowlands Legendaries a little bit though? Uh, well, the reason is because Shadowlands Legendaries was a massive thing. If you were into trying to make gold in any way, shape, or form in Shadowlands, you at some point considered the option of leveling up blacksmithing, tailoring, leatherworking, and jewel crafting for the purpose of crafting the base legendary items. Uh, back in Shadowlands, though, you had the uh, you had the ability to kind of buy your way into that market. If we take a little bit of a look at some of the bits of gear, where are they, like Vestige of Origins and stuff, they had some pretty sizable costs to them, but there was no restriction in front of you other than gold. This means that if you already had a bunch of gold, you could quickly do the rep grinds, which weren't too aggressive. Most of them were just locked behind campaign completion, so you could just work towards it, bang it out in an afternoon. Um, even some of the top ones, things like the Vestige of the Eternal, it was only about a week to two weeks in Zerith Mortis to get access to these, and then you just had them. When you had them, you can craft them as much as you like. You could, in essence, buy your way into the legendary crafting market. It was very expensive, and at some parts of the expansion, it was literally in the millions of gold. It was very expensive to buy your way in. But the point was, you could. Uh, you could, if you really wanted to, back in Shadowlands, if you turned up six months into the expansion, you could, theoretically, if you had a pile of gold available... Spend it leveling up your jewel crafting, your tailoring, your blacksmithing, and you could buy your way into the top end of that market. Dragonflight, remarkably different. Um, people complain very aggressively when anything is seemingly pay to win, uh, which you could almost argue that the, the, the Shadowlands legendary system was. It was an elite club of people who were crafting and selling all of those legendaries on a daily basis. And to buy your way into that elite club, there was a very expensive uh, member's entr entrance fee. In Dragonflight, though, there's no way to buy your way into the party. You absolutely have to work through this spec tree first. Uh, and there's no questions about it at all that if you have your spec tree completed, uh, even during these times where it doesn't seem particularly worthwhile doing, right? It seems like you look at the auction house and everything you can possibly craft. Uh, it's super difficult to make any gold on. I can't argue that fact. And there's one simple reason why. It's that it's just super competitive. There's lots of people doing it. But the point is, is we're already starting to see people drop off, right? We're starting to see people say, no, I've had enough. I'm going to go do something else, um, which is fair. It's fine. It's sensible to do. Uh, but my recommendation and the big thing I want to try and get across in this video today is that it's really, really, really worthwhile, at least sticking with doing the basics. I'm, you know, I go a little bit further than most people. I'm actually trying to get the basic, that 14, 15 knowledge points for every single profession. And I'm trying to do it every week. Uh, roughly, it's about an hour's worth of work per profession. Um, but of course, I'm in the luxurious position where I can dedicate a bit more time to this. If you're only sticking with a couple of professions on like a main character, it's probably no more than a couple of hours of playtime to get those 14, 15 knowledge points each week. But I highly, highly recommend that if you do nothing else with your professions, even if you don't craft a bean, even if you don't attempt to sell anything, that you at the very least continue to get these knowledge points because it's a time-gated system with no feasible catch-up that will be cash in the bank for as long as you can maintain that advantage. Maybe that advantage will only last you a month, two months, three months, two weeks. We don't know. Blizzard might turn around in 10.1 and give a massive catch-up system that completely nullifies the entire thing. And if that's the case, I'll eat my hat. But I can only uh, offer my advice to you guys based on what we see in-game right here, right now. But I will leave it there for today, boys and girls. I don't want to go on too long. I wanted to keep this, you know, as short and as sweet as possible. But I hope that sort of showcases 
uh, and explains why at least doing the bare minimum, even if you are off doing other things. If he, if, if you know, if you're in Diablo Diablo world right now, that I know many many of you guys probably are. Uh, if you're off playing other games, even you know, log on to WoW. It's only going to be a week or you know, an hour or so per week. I'm sure you can squeeze that in just to keep the keep it ticking over, so that when uh, when when something cool happens, when we get something new, that you're ahead of the game and can take advantage of it. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there for today. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.